Hi! So, welcome to episode 6 of my Flap to Fab series. Um, I've been doing this and my name is Ket Key. For those of you who don't know me, I live in Singapore. I trained in Australia as a naturopath, a nutritionist and a herbalist. I run my own clinical practice here. I'm a keynote speaker in the media, in hospitals and MNCs and corporates as well. And I run my own online health and wellness business. Today's episode, I'm going to talk about exercise which I think most people say they will do, but they don't end up doing. So working from home today, decided to do this episode. I'm about to go to the gym across uh, just three minutes from my place and do some simple stuff. Um, but I thought it would be very good to do this episode quickly and give some tips, especially for women out there who are busy, who are working, who may be mothers, and they're trying to fit some time into their um, busy schedule to have an exercise regime because we want to remember the last episodes I talked about calorie input versus output previous episodes and then last episode was about antioxidants and today I'm going to talk about exercise so I'm not a personal trainer for that you need to go to someone but this has some quick tips on that okay so um, let just quickly in 2011 the American College of Sports Medicine released some general recommendations okay uh, to the guidelines and one of them is that we need to engage adults should engage in at least I'm reading this off so that I don't miss it at least 150 minutes of moderate to intense exercise per week um, so if you cut that down it's about 20 minutes per week now of course if someone is obese then they would need to add up more and um, they, are the, um, they would need to add up more to lose the weight now there are three types of exercises that we do need one is cardio for good respiratory function and cardio function. The second one, resistance exercise is very important. That's strength training. Um, it doesn't mean necessarily that you need to go to the gym to do this. You can do it at home. There are a lot of videos out there on YouTube, but I'm gonna show you some simple quick one on resistance training. Strength training is so important because that builds muscle. We need muscle because muscle will burn fat. And as we grow older, we lose muscle very, very fast and time runs out because it's harder to build muscle as we grow older and especially for women even more for men it's easier so that's the second one strength training and you can do reps you know repeatedly and increase your strength and then the third one is flexibility exercise the reason why a lot of people um, over for over 50 especially they fall um, and then they have you know um, you know they crack their hip or they injure their knee and they end up with surgeries is because there's no flexibility so we need to do stretching like yoga and then we need to do really strength training and build our cardio okay so these are the basic guidelines now there are some quick questions that a lot of my clients and patients ask me like for example um is walking good for weight loss now generally what they found you know the ten thousand step thing right how much uh, merit does it hold so actually um it seems that if you add 30 minutes of brisk walking to your daily routine you can burn about 150 calories per day and the goal is to eliminate 500 calories uh, a day right so 550 sorry 150 calories per day and so forget that one so 150 calories per day now the thing is that walking is just as good as running because if you if you have issues with your knee and all then I wouldn't recommend running because that you can cause injuries to yourself now um, because walking takes longer a uh, brisk walking takes longer than running so the time would be longer so for example uh, researchers analyzed 48,000 runners and walkers mainly in their 40s and 50s and they found that for mile to mile brisk walking uh, lowers the risk for diabetes, high cholesterol, high blood pressure as much as running does. Okay, so you can spend more time walk, brisk walking than you do running and you get the same health benefits. So a 15 minute jog will burn the same number of calories as about a half hour brisk walk. And the chance of being injured is of course less. So check with your daughter, doctor if you have arthritis or anything like that before you embark on something like that. Um, you don't have to necessarily stick to walking running. I live across the beach, just across the other side, gym that side and beach the, on the other side of my place. And I do brisk walking along the beach as well. And I carry a half a sack and I put water bottle so that there's some weight, right? Um, so this is some of the things that we can do if you're starting off and you haven't exercised just to lose the weight. 
so and when you when you're walking brisk walking just adding quick short sprints you know uh, in between quick short sprints you know about 30 seconds to a minute would give you a bigger calorie burning boost for your entire effort and so how um, so you just do about 20 30 minutes of brisk walking a day is great okay and so that's what I wanted to share about exercise today now um, this is my home and what I do is that sometimes you know every morning I do a bit of strength training so at least about 15 to 20 minutes so that I you know I know that I've got my stuff done in case I don't have time to go to the gym now if you look quickly this is a fixed table here this is a fixed table right uh, it's against the TV console so what I do I know I mean I'm not a personal trainer like I said so uh, go find a good one, but I'm just saying this is what I do. I can do, you know, this kind of push-ups. So I'm building my strength training at home, just using home uh, furniture, and I don't need to go to the gym, right? And I'm just doing this daily, rotating, so I'm building my strength, and I can do the reps and repeat. And then I will alternate between, I'll, I'll do runs, like I'll do jumping and runs. And in between, uh, so when I pause for 30 seconds, I will do a quick stretch um, on my leg. Or I will do a hamstring stretch or whatever, right? And so I intersperse with that and I work that out. And I am actually getting my stretching, my strength training as well. I'll do squats. While I'm my next one. So, so I have a mat at home that I use. So you can do... Yeah, you know, uh, a lot of times we want to get started and we can't get started because we're overwhelmed or we're intimidated by the whole exercise thing. So you don't necessarily need to go to the gym. You can start small, start easy from home. There are a lot of YouTube videos out there. And do exercise because exercise also gives, um, it helps to burn some of the calories output, right? And the other thing is that it gives you happy hormones. So you are happy and especially it's a great relief for stress. And the other quick tip, last tip that before I go off, guys, is that every hour, let's say you are sitting at home or you're at work at the office and desk bound, make sure every hour you get up and take a one minute walk around your colleague's table or go to the restroom or go and take it as an opportunity to drink more water. Because when you, when you are moving every hour, you're getting up and not sitting every hour, you actually help to maintain or increase your metabolic rate it doesn't drop and it's important to do that because as we grow older our metabolic rate will slow down especially if we're just sitting the whole time so hope this helps and uh, have a great workout regime work it out start slowly and if you're not sure happy to answer a few questions uh, drop me a note take care bye bye